even reach the playoffs. That's how competitive that whole division was. Na'Vi kind of got blindsided. Spirit went on to win the whole thing. And Fnatic, you know, we've seen this squad. We've seen them at the tippity top at the end of Pro League Online. Uh, and then just a stark fall into the road to Rio. So let's see. Uh, let's see if these Swedes can come in swinging. This pistol round already underway, Hugo. And JW, he set himself up over here towards the ramp. He's got Flusher with him, the Team Spirit. They don't really want to go towards hell. They're more focused on this B-bomb site, and Magix is the man to open it up. Rotation going to come on through, Fnatic. They might just catch the... <laughs> yeah, I was going to say Froland. He didn't realize there were so many players there, but there were a lot of players there. And Magix is continuing to tap off heads. Finally, he does get dealt with by JW, but it's still quite the advantage here for Team Spirit, and they will continue to put up these frags. It's JW left in a 1v4. A lot of work to do, and a lot of time to get it done, and he gets dropped. And the pistol round, well, it goes the way of Team Spirit. Yeah, that was the kill for Chopper onto Crims. They did so much damage, put Chopper to 10, and Crims just falls. But this guy, Harry, this guy's been a big talking point. The guy on our streams in Magix, uh, 60 yeah. years old, player for Team Spirit, double entry down into the B-bomb site, finished off by JW. He's been such a talent inside of what? this team and definitely a great addition with uh, with a lot of, you know, with a with a big future ahead of him. Yeah, man. This is, this is where, like, I feel kind of blessed that we got to cover so much of the CIS region because I feel like, you know, for, for, for a lot of people watching this, I imagine we have a lot of Fnatic fans in attendance yeah. and who maybe aren't as familiar with this team spirit squad but they've been on the rise right you've got like a you've got a few guys who have been in this squad for a while for that you're looking at people like some die young then you've got Mir, who's been like a, a shining light in this team really reliving some of his old form and looking up again you've got a, a, a star really flashy opera in someone like i disbalance right and then the guy that you touched on magics i think he is like a real talking point he's so young in this team and has been so consistent for them as well uh, so this Team Spirit squad is one that I think a lot of people are going to find themselves yeah. actually becoming a bit of a fan of. It's they... worth noting we have uh, we have Vega Mir, not Gambit Mir, which is a very big difference, uh, you know, in, in terms of performance. He has been lights out in this team, leading by example. So, yeah, no, uh, no sleeping at the wheel here for Spirit. Not in this round, at least. They're a man up. They have full rifles apart from that Mac 10, and they are taking so much control. Mir with a double. We wait, we wait, and he provides. Crim's up in the A site. Uh, he's getting wiggled and jiggled it's Brolin on the wrap round could get one but someday I'm holding for it and Brolin nice shot gets dinked but good luck getting more than that he's going to try and put as much distance between himself and the corpse as he can try and come in from another angle bomb planted on that a site by magics but nothing Brolin can do about it might even just be good to save right Fnatic are going to have a full eco coming up in the follow-up round so even taking this CZ armor would be good but they don't want to allow it and they won't allow it I just balance dropping him and Spirit going 2-0 up to start this series They get that conversion round locked on in, and now it is just these pistols here for Fnatic. So, not much of a chance. We got a little nade stack, Fnatic. They do love running these wherever they can. They're a team that do it a lot in pistol rounds. And so here, in this second, what kind of usage are they able to get out of these nades? One of them is on Flusher, the other is on Brolin. These two are split between Main and Heaven. So, not going to be like any kind of... Uh, like artillery nades, right? Where you just rain them on in into one position. These two aren't, weren't really close enough to complement each other. So these nades are on a bit of a solo mission. I'm bigging them up because they're the only thing that can really do much damage in this round, right? It is just vanilla pistols. And so this is where Team Spirit should keep it pretty clean. Yeah. But we've seen these kind of rounds, you know, like not necessarily get close, but it's like, you know, it's not uncommon to see like the USP sometimes cheese a kill or two. And that can be worth it in the long run. Yeah, it can just like spiral out of control, right? If you get the right kills at the right time and you grab a gun, suddenly you can win these rounds. And, and you know, you I feel like you only see USP Ecos 1 uh, when it's like 10, like like five to 10 kills in like 20 seconds. If it's a long round, if, if, if the T's stall it out, they always win it. But if you have a quick one where it's Team Spirit maybe rush into a bomb site they haven't cleared and it's stacked, Fnatic, well, they can suddenly get kills, grab guns, and it's all chaos. And then suddenly they win the round right See, that's I how the Zekos that. get one i i always feel like with, with 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 these pistols what happens is like one person will die and then and then the t's will slow down like oh oh crap like we messed up you know like we've lost the guy 
early. And then it's that panic of trying to make sure you don't lose anyone else. Yeah. I find is when like a lot of the chaos happens. But let's see, man. Let's see how this round pans out. Ooh, oh, JW's classic. getting cute in the vents. But watch out because they've already gone past him and into this A bomb site. It's some die young getting deep before he gets shut down. The trades go left and right. And they do catch Chopper, critically so in the heart. That's the bomb dropped, but might not be a problem for Mir. He's bested JW out from the vents, and now he's looking for this player in the site who's up on the rafters. Flusher, Flusher rather, Golden. Not gonna miss a beat, but it was actually Flusher to steal the kill away. Spirit get a good taste of what they're gonna be dealing with in this game. A very confident Fnatic, right? Spirit try and molly pies off in the heaven, and Golden just swings out in front of it. Like, Fnatic aren't gonna wait for you to, to, to you know, do what you want. They're gonna abuse their spawns and positions as much as they can. You know, Spirit, they may have been an upcoming team. They may have been looking really, really good, but Fnatic, as the favorites, are not gonna let you get away with squat, so. Spirit, they're gonna get punished for any mistakes they make in this game. JW, he is trying to get aggressive towards the door. He sees nothing inside of lobby. Luckily enough, there's no one there at all. Spirit have sent five of their players towards the yard, crossing behind these smokes. JW has gone down to the depths below with that AWP, waiting on the pixel angle. It's gonna be real quick to hit a shot here, but they are starting to line up. Here comes the first missed from JW. It was only a jiggle. He's going to have to fall back here. Spirit, they show uh, face towards the AWP. They push him back. And Fnatic rotate two more players down lower. Look at that setup on the minimap. Spirit, if they take A right now, it is undefended, un you know, uncovered at all. JW is the only man in the site right now. Moving into position with Brolin. And with no one else going down B, Fnatic, they realize that it's all a bit of a fake. It's all a bit of a ruse, and they will rotate players back up to that top site, starting to clear the lobby, getting more map control under their wing. But the timing is everything. Sunday Young's coming in from spawn, and if Fnatic don't consider this as a possibility, he could get multiple kills here. Oh, dear. Sunday Young spotted a man. Oh, not the cleanest of kills, but it does come in anyway. Now, there's two more players here to pressure him. But Stumdai Young, you're bang on. He was acting as the uh, the bait to this one. And while this has gone down, some utility has been thrown down the ramp from Chopper, but actually it's not a B play. I love that. You get ramp control, you get players yeah. into heaven, but they send Chopper down to throw in that utility and it baited all three players for Fnatic into a rotation down to B. And you know, like being real, if you've got lobby control and you're in a three on four, are you taking the A site? You attempt that if you're Fnatic, yeah. you know, now, now that you're locked out on B, you're, you've wasted so much time on the rotation that it's just not worth hanging around to attempt this retake. So, yeah, that's actually a really sick round from Team Spirit. They got some die young, like with a with almost like a double fake lurk in the lobby, right? Like throwing a distraction in while uh, while ramp and heaven are taken. Chopper throwing that utility into B is just paramount to the success of the round. And Team Spirit, they're going to put a fourth on the board. So they immediately respond with a round of their own after Fnatic take theirs. And after Sunday Young gets to the lobby and kills Golden, JW scopes from the door. That's all purposeful. It makes Sunday Young look at his position. And then Brolin comes in from the backside on ramp on that push and gets the kill, right? Sunday Young with his back turn. So Fnatic, you know, at least getting that under control, at least getting some lobby, but they get nothing else with it. Spirit's T size looking excellent. No, really? That's kind of crazy. I guess, you know, Spirit have played a lot of games, especially recently in the last well, couple of Yeah, months, I know, so. you know, you imagine that makes sense as well, because like Magic's, we, we talk about how young he is and how like relatively inexperienced, right? Like, you know, he would have been grinded through during the, the, the Krieg meta as well. I, I think it's Magic's. I checked this uh, when we were in the Rotary. I'm pretty sure it is Magic's. His first HLTV game played was in October last year. I'm going to double check that. But uh, yeah, that's kind of crazy, right? To, to you know, in less than or about six months, a bit over, you know, you've you've done this much and you, you look this good yeah. against some of the best teams. Well, Matt, so. we've also had the pleasure of speaking to Sam Dai Young a lot, but actually, I'll, I'll hold this thought because no one cares what I've been saying to Sam Dai Young. What we care about is this A side play and JW. Well, he uh, he does actually maybe care what Sam Dai Young is saying enough to rid him of this round. He deletes him on the push into the site. Bomb now planted. Team Spirit. 
in a four on three again. And this time it was like a, an eco round around these saved weapons. So JW is probably thinking about holding on to this orb. I imagine he's just going to be making a safe rotation. He's got this flashbang. So it's like, even though he's backing off to go save, he can still maybe try flash flusher in. Oh no, wait, Flush is the guy wrapping around it. Golden was actually able... I, I don't know how he's gotten away with this AK. It was dropped in this site. So <laughs> it's a bit of a mystery how it's ended Oink. up in Golden's hands, but he's got it and he'll take it all day long. Um, yeah. Yeah, they find Flush it. But these two players saved. That's exactly what you wanted if you're Fnatic. As I was trying to say, right, you know, we, we were speaking to Sunday Young a lot during the... Uh, the road to Rio and, he, and he, you know he, he kind of like sung magic's his praise and then also acknowledged like yeah you know but he's still young still has a lot to learn but he's really putting in the effort mm. to, to to you know like get up to speed and, uh, and slot in with the rest of us and I think he's a like, great within this team considering he's someone that many people just wouldn't even know about because he is so young and literally hasn't played that many games He's been a great pickup. For reference, he actually played his first HL TV game when he was 14, back two oh, years that's ago. Really so that's cool. kind of crazy, but yeah, I mean, before Spirit, he, he didn't really play a lot. A few games for Sparta here and there, back last year, but Spirit has been the big pickup, obviously, and we've seen a lot of success there. Flusher looking to, looking to force fights, 5-1 down, doesn't want to risk his life, will fall back after the Chopper hides behind the box, and he is the only man outside on both cases. Flusher v Chopper, and the rap is good. Flusher has hit the timing, and he might be able to come behind Chopper here, but not realizing Chopper's actually crept behind main. So Chopper has the drop on Flusher here in terms of you know information. He knows where Flusher should be. Flusher doesn't know where Chopper could be, but he should at least consider it. Golden's watching onto the ramp room. That's where the bomb is set for Spirit. Flusher, timing is everything. We're likely going to see Chopper lurk late. He might even try and beat Flusher in terms of, you know, Flusher rotating and Chopper coming in to backstab. We'll see if he gets any information given. Flusher going to move. Chopper, oh, he reacts fast and he gets the kill for Spirit. A man up. And now they can just crunch his top site if they want. It looks likely there's only two players inside for Fnatic. And one of them is stuck behind the CT vent. A very easy position to Molotov if you are Spirit. And they've got loads of grenades as well. Where do they go? Holding steadfast right now. There's that Molly. Crims has to swing, but he gets away with a kill with it, forcing out to the back of the bomb site. Now it's the ramp play. Colden moves at the worst possible time. Spirit are going to push him down to B, but the Orc does fire off. JW with one. Golden now has to retreat. He's getting chased, and he will get dropped down towards that lower site. Crims attempting to go towards the fence, dropped by, ma uh, dropped by a man in the lobby. And now Spirit planting on B with a man up. Brolin's come down the vents. He could get this one-on-one -on -one as Majitz is low, uh, alone rather on the B bomb. Site. Yeah, but the bomb is planted open for ramp, and that's a bit of a problem. However, this smoke on JW does give Fnatic a bit more of a fighting chance in this round. And even then, I say it's planted for ramp, it still needs the wide swing, right? Yeah. So it is a little bit risky. It is a little bit dangerous. The magic's still just uh -oh. yeah, actually getting dropped there on the head to head. Now they get into this bomb with JW holding the cross from the ladder, and maybe there's a chance here. JW nails the shot. It's all on to Chopper, and he's oh. missed the spray. JW has Brolin's back to the very, very end, and it's three on the board for JW. A retake prevails and the hold kind of falls apart there for team spirit yeah I, we see that bomb plant very commonly and, and magis really had to uh, magic um, i keep saying magisk because that's all i'm used to it's like when i'm casting twist twi twist from nip i always add the z on it from from liquid oh um yeah the mag magic's had to plant there right because he wanted to plant at least four ramp knowing they were going to take it but he, he was alone on b he had no control and so to plant open for ramp would have been a danger he, his team hadn't quite cleared that out just yet yet so spirit another man advantage in this round Fnatic did win the previous though but yeah i mean this is this is more important for Fnatic in this first half than it is for spirit right now because down two five down a man in this round it would be a reset for Fnatic with no money so they really don't want to get rolled by spirit's t side in this map it may be their pick but Fnatic, i certainly would imagine wanted a confident showing here, and this is not that. JW, well, maybe he is confident, but the result's there. Yes, that's the shot. JW could get traded. He's got to run. There's more in the lobby, but Spirit don't want to re-peek into an AWP, so a smoke down at their feet, and Spirit working the yard. Flusher does lie in wait on the other side of the garage, oh. however, and ooh, he's hidden himself away, but actually they were ready for it. Mir was homed in on the angle. Now it's Crimson's turn to try and step up to the plate. He's over here in main. 
Ooh, but That's Chopper, a little jump shot, man. He's living up to the name. It's a flyby for Chopper. A bit of a strafing run into main, and this has left it three on two, thanks to that kill there coming in from Golden. JW and Brolin last time around, able to achieve the two on three at B. This time you're looking at the IGL of Fnatic alongside JW. Magix is posted up on the heaven. So is I this balance, but somehow, some way, Golden is able to swing and take down another. This is buying JW precious time, and that gets the flashbang in, but Golden <laughs> leaping down from the heavens above. Not going to be the play. JW's got no time here to go for this round, even if he wanted to, so he's going to have to hold on to this AWP. Team Spirit, six on the board. In a position now where they could even look to start to run away with this half, because like uh, the money's in a very odd spot for Fnatic. JW saved in these last few rounds. He's been pretty good at doing that and getting away with the orbs. So his money's looking great, but no one else's is on this Fnatic team. But, but you know, Nuke is a map, especially for a team like Spirit, that, that do a lot of work on this map, where, you know, Fnatic, they may have better individuals on a good day, but Spirit are just outplaying them right now. They're just outmaneuvering them. And as long as you win the right fights and, and trade the right kills, you can definitely take a lead over a better team here. So Spirit, 6-2 up right now, in control of this map. It's their pick. It's one that Fnatic, oh, <laughs> regretting came into the series. And JW with the orb through the smoke, dead doesn't even get to play into this round. Tidus Balance finding the first. Spirit have been so full of man advantages. It's ridiculous. I can't think of the last time Fnatic actually had one. And in fact, they've only had one this entire game. Found by Crims. Flusher is 0-4 in those opening duels, often going down first in the garage or the yard. The life of an outside player on the CT side of Nuke. He's instead re repositioned down towards Secret to watch for that B-bomb site, a position where he won't at least easily die to the hand of Spirit. But they don't want B, Harry. They want this A site, and they're going to go together. Yeah, Brolin's come up on rotation with JW Zorp. It's been blessed by JW. So let's see if young gun Brolin can offer up the goods. Second kill of the round. Wow. Missed shot there from my disbalance as Brolin just baiting him in for the peak. But while all this has gone down, Magix pushes up close in the site and secures some control. Flusher is pressuring from the lobby and Magix left in a 1v3. Swings out wide. Is good for the first, but Brolin gets the trade. Well, it's been blessed by JW this orb. So, of course, Brolin's able to find success with it. These were stellar shots to turn the round on his head. Flusher catching that kill, retrieving the AK, goes on a bit of a tear of his own. So that there was almost just a full eco from Fnatic outside of the saved orb. They managed to find success on the back of it. Yeah, Spirit's money now getting drawn to a close, Harry. This is a crucial round if they want to keep up appearances on the T-side. And Sundar Young will do what he does best, find that opening kill. And Ridge AW once again, man. This AWP in door has not been successful for, for Fnatic. It's been quite the opposite. Brolin has, however, at least secured a kill, dropping Sundar Young and getting out of there alive. That was from the hut side, peering in from the rafters. Spirit now back into a four and four. Might be easy to settle into these outside smokes. Pretty common occurrence. And Golden, he's about to realize that as well. He's cleared the lobby and he's about to uncover the terrible truths of this round. Spirit have everyone outside. That's so important for Fnatic that Golden gets this information right as it happens for Spirit because Fnatic can now hit that timing button in their head where they go, okay, no one's watching out right now. Where could Spirit be? How far could they be? Well, let's find out. Crims is down lower to drop them in the vents. Spirit, of course, could wrap Hellside or even Main for that A play, but Fnatic are more so expecting a B execute here uh, unless it comes through Heaven, right? You're not going to walk th four through Main without lobby control of your Spirit, so Crims has made the right call here, dropping lower. He's waiting for just a kill and contact so he can fall off and, pay the, uh, and play for the plant. Oh, Crims? Trying wow. to deny entry, but they are already in, whether he likes it or not. This B site belongs to Team Spirit. Golden trying to pressure it, but bomb's already been planted and nothing has offered itself up yet. Now, Golden wasn't, doesn't want to jump the gun on this one, right? He is the only man down at B. He's got teammates rotating in. So he's very, very careful around that decon door. Now, I disbalance gets caught trying to push into the double door, and this was an attempt to bait them in, and it does bait them in, but some pretty favorable trades. That is until Chopper steps up to the mark. 
That missed Molly from Flusher. That could have made all the difference. Chopper was so low. That Molly could have caused some real problems. And now there's just not enough time for Flusher. Till's not going to present themselves. And maybe he's going to take down a player with the bomb. But that really is the best case scenario here. Yeah. Spirit 7-3. to three, Continuing to build upon this lead. Oh, that's so unfortunate for Fnatic here in the secret, right? When you get two kills in such a close proximity, you often just discount the fact that there can be any more players there. And even though they checked the corner, they looked at it, Chopper gets away with two kills of some excellent pre-fire shots. Fnatic not ready for the third man on the stairwell, and they will pay the price. JW on the orb. Where is he going? Hopefully not door. That has not worked, but he's going door. So, looking back for some more. I understand not having this orb outside. Spirit have gone for a lot of smoke executes. That orb is often denied the information unless you play towards a secret stairwell or lower B. So JW desperate to have impact with this AWP, but instead will now just stay alive, watching the outside area. No one's cross secret. Spirit just waiting. And Fnatic have that information at the bare minimum. Two players outside. JW can always afford to play rotation. He's got Flasher in the garage to spot and wait if needed. JW's going to try and draw them in with the AWP. We've not seen this yard so far. Flash is going to get a peek off though. No flash with it, just a dry fight. And maybe he could have got more if JW set up utility, but that kill is excellent. They're baited in and they're knocked down, but there's the trade. Flash are gone. JW, same story as Idis Balance with the pre-aim. He's ready for that heaven re-peek, despite JW, JW just showing himself down lower. One step ahead for Team Spirit and one kill ahead as well in a four on three. With Hell Control taken, Mir can split ramp or just try and take that top site. Fnatic have three players upper right now, but another one dropping B. Golden's being very loud about it. And that's all going to get hurt by Mir and Hell. Oh, oh, yeah, look, they've changed their mind. It. Yeah, some <gasps> young's young taking the bomb up the crim. Oh, no. The crim see him? Well, I don't no, think no, so. It's like he's really, he's, look, yeah, he's, he's really, really looking. Obsessed. Like, he's really yeah. looking, man. Like, Crims is on a bit of a hunt TikTok, right now. TikTok. There's seven seconds. TikTok. This bomb has got to go down, and it's got to go oh. down now. There's the shot from I Disbalance, and it's not denied. Some die young with a second to spare gets that bomb planted. And Fnatic, they thought they had a chance, but one by one, they are getting shut down. Team Spirit, they are just continuing to look like a dominant powerhouse. Like, it, 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 it was worrying for me. Like, you know, I was thinking, yeah, they look great in the CIS Road to Rio, but how is it going to hold up versus the uh, the European squads? And well, right now, it's looking yeah. really good for good. Team Spirit. Like, the reads have been good individually. They've been besting Fnatic a lot in the head-to-heads as well. It's, it's kind of wild, but this Team Spirit squad is looking really neat right now. Yeah, they're just duking Fnatic, man. The amount of rounds that have come down to Fnatic being in the wrong place or, or, or you know, drop B when Spirit go A. Like they, like you said, they've had the reads. There have been some excellent predictions from Spirit uh, and even just the individuals in terms of fights. Like, oh, I just balance three on the orb. Look at how quick that flick is right back into Brolem. And yeah, Spirit, they, they, I feel like they've never walked into a stack apart from that one round on A with Broland coming up onto Heaven with the AWP off of JW. Apart from that, Spirit have avoided the majority of Fnatic in every single one of these bomb rounds. So really well played. They've definitely done their homework in this series. Flasher hits a shot, but he is getting tagged up and Mir will finish the job, dropping onto main with a man advantage, our Spirit. This is a low economy round for Fnatic, relying on Crims now that that scout has gone. He's got a hero AK on ramp. Two players down in B for Fnatic, but I mean with USPs and a Deagle on Golden. Even if Spirit come their way, which is still a big if, it's not like Fnatic are going to have much favored. Spirit, they just stop. They just pull the brakes. They wait. They go Fnatic or Eco. Let's wait for them to give us a kill. Yeah, but wait is it really a word in Mir's vocabulary? Like, he's he's waiting, but in a very Mir way. Like, he's waiting while moving forward. So, you know, it, it's it's not with the same speed and vigor as normal. Tactical it's very hesitation. Sneak. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a tactical wait maneuver. And here he is. Now he's waiting in heaven. Now he says, guys, see, look, I am waiting. I'm, I'm in heaven. Though. He's clear. And he gets that, he gets this information. And so now with Heaven secured, this round should be unlosable for Team Spirit. They weren't really up against much to begin with. And holding down this position, they spot Golden outside. They get the info that he's there. Mir mops up a double. 
Crims does actually spam him down through the wall, but should be the round mopped up. Team Spirit, eight on the board. I think Crims shot him through the floor there. So from hell up into heaven, certainly a good kill, but it's not going to win Fnatic the round. So you know, I kept, I, I keep talking about it, but it's just because you know it's the last time we got to see a lot of these CIS team. The Road to Rio CIS. One of the things that, that we got from a lot of these interviews with yeah. loads of different teams was that they said like, well, right now in CIS the level of competition feels really high, and anyone can be anyone. And you kind of get that illusion by the fact that sure. you know Navi didn't even reach the playoffs. One thing I will say is. No one could beat Team Spirit, despite nope. everyone being able to beat everyone else. Team Spirit went on to just make that flawless run throughout yeah. the uh, entire event. They so, dropped two maps. Yeah, I, I, and that's just wild, you know, like, because it's one thing to go and win it when there's no Na'Vi in the playoffs. I think some people would look at, like, you know, try and discount the victory. But you look at the fashion in which they won the event, yeah. and it's kind of mind-blowing. Definitely. Uh, you know, th that's why they're here, Harry. That's why I was excited to see Spirit inside of DreamHack Masters. Pretty much the only CIS team that's not like, you know, in the in the top tier echelons like Na'Vi, for example. So, yeah, we get to see what they can do against some of the some of the best teams in the world. And as we can see, results are pretty good. 9-3 up. That's a nice entry from Chopper, dropping Flusher outside again. The man often dead first for Fnatic. This is a rarity, right? Flush is a beast. We know what he can do, but right now he's getting countered. He's getting shut out of the server. Spirit's slow, cruel T side where they just bleed the round time and put Fnatic in the wrong positions is great work. They've got ramps. Some Die Young's cleared this out earlier and Fnatic have had to concede this position. Two on B, two on upper, but I don't say two on A because that's not the case. Fnatic again have to be very careful about where they put their men. Golden in B with JW's orb. Spirit smoke him off and they're going to head here with the bomb. This is the first time Fnatic have had two players in the site where Spirit attack B. When a third's even on rotation, but JW trying to get ahead of the curve has only left his team further behind it. Do you keep your eye on sneaky little Brolin though. This number four on the minimap. Look at him heading over towards ramp room. While the rest of his team are distracting, Brolin actually gets dropped Dead. immediately. And now Golden left up in this 1v5. Don't really fancy his chances here, and they just hound him down to the end of time. Ten on the board for Team Spirit, three for Fnatic. This is so dominant from the Spirit squad. Yeah, like we're seeing JW do JW-esque things, but he's getting shut out. Look at this, he just runs through a door smoke and tries to orb Bramp. Like, there were two players there, he could have had a collapse. That was a very, very, you know, I love it. He timed it right, he peaked the right angle. They're there, he's there, he's aiming, and they kill him. <laughs> like, that's the most JW play that always works, and it doesn't work. 10-3 to Spirit, nothing's working for Fnatic, and Spirit, well, they are all over the board. Five for Fnatic, they don't want to concede 11 rounds or 12 rounds. They want to have two chances to get on this board. But really, you're asking for a lot here near the end of the half. JW saving somewhat. We have three Fami and a scout on Flusher. And the Spirit go. And how long do they take to get there? That's the crucial question. Golden tagged on ramp by the orb. A grenade could finish a job. And so he has to play very passive as a result. Doesn't want to stay here forever. Likely we'll just drop B at the next sign of contact. But Spirit aren't really giving him anything. They're all here, but they're all hiding. And now they're going to appear together as the rotates come through. Flush, are they swapping guns? This couldn't be a worse opportune moment. The tag does come through. T Spirit don't capitalize. They had a chance oh. to kill both players of Fnatic out in the open, <laughs> pressing G. And now oh, it's the no. lobby flank from Crims that gets denied as well. JW's here. Fnatic are pushing, prodding, poking, but they're getting removed man by man. It's just Flusher again, left up in heaven in a one on three. And they oh, go B. And they <laughs> take the bomb down, Ben. Unreal. The biggest middle finger to Flusher you've ever seen in your lifetime. He's going to try and rotate in through Rap, but he's not ready for the man already here. Team Spirit, they just seem one step ahead of the curve right now. This is this is a great T side from them. And Fnatic, they were not ready for this kind of heat to start the day. I'm really excited to see how the remainder of this Group C pans out, man. Because I feel like, you know, in the CIS region, we saw Team Spirit take on all different types yeah. of teams, right? Like from the from the slow play styles of a team like VP to very explosive squads like Fours. Uh, you know, they, 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 they've really been and they've seen it all. And now we get to see them up against that same kind of caliber in EU. So I can't wait to see how the remainder of these games of Spirit in pan on out. In this round, oh, Flusher dear. burns himself to death outside. And that's given up a man advantage to Team Spirit. Not exactly Flush's fault, right? Like he puts the molly down, tries to cross behind it. 
And actually, with this little uh, MP9 on the back of Broland, they have been able to retake this control. Magic's now left in the clutch. 1v2 required from this young man, and he has bested Broland at the first hurdle. Now, an ace was never available because Flusher killed himself. <laughs> However, we can say, you know, like, forgetting all the kills that were available in the round, this is like a mini ace. Nice. For a mini man, Magix. Let's see what he can do. Uh, JW started this round by peeking door again with the all power. He actually got a kill and got traded. Fnatic took uh, your advice today. They they went for one kill each in this round, and well, almost everyone got one. Golden didn't, and now Crims has to double up. But that's doable in this clutch. Mag uh, Magix is low. And Crims, he, he hasn't got the read. He hasn't got the idea. He's just playing timings right now, checking all positions and remaining very aware. Well, imagine how it feels if you're Crims, right? Every read that you've made if you're Fnatic at this point in time has been wrong. Yeah. He's just kind of like playing this so nether zone away. in between bomb sites, hoping that he can come in with a fast rotation. Good luck now. And with Magic's getting into decon with the bomb planted for him. This is a very tricky round now for Crims. This belt of utility is going to help him, but the thing that isn't is the lack of kit. And, you know, the utility is all well and good, but without the ability to stick that bomb, you're going to struggle to get much usage out of it. It's Time has now. already ticked so low as well. Like, if Crims doesn't start this defuse now, the round is over. He gets on it. He can't get off of it. Man, oh. he's still sticking it. Please, go back. There we go. He gets... Wow. Boy, oh boy, does it smell like team spirit right about now. 12-3 at the end of that first half of play. And Fnatic, they are at quite the deficit here, moving into their T side. Now, let's see if they can recuperate some of this, moving into the second half of play. A pistol victory here feels like a must-have. Fnatic do want to keep Nuke afloat. Interesting to note, Team Spirit, no utility, no kits, no nothing, just armor. And that, to me, suggests they're feeling confident in hitting their shots. They're not even planning for letting a bomb go down. However, let's see if that happens. A lot of damage from Magix. He's going to get helped out. He needs saving, what? and actually, he gets another before he falls. Mid-air headshot onto Crims. JW <laughs> gets down through the vents. He's running as fast as he can. He's pulling in the, in the numbers, and he will get the bomb planted. Oh, he just about gets into decon as well. So now a 1v3 chance for JW, but two players wrapping in close. This is not going to be easy. The Glock in his pocket, and he's looking the rocket here moving into this retake one uh -oh. on three gets around to the double doors team spirit is sticking it but they don't have a kit as we mentioned earlier on they're holding jw nails the first man oh and almost a follow-up but not quite some die young is taking shots for chopper all day long 13 on the board for team spirit pistol round goes their way and fanatic now Really, they, they might be starting to look ahead to Inferno. Like, Nuke, this is going to be a very, you know, it was already a very tricky game to recover, yeah. even with the pistol round going away. And it doesn't go their way. So now, 14 to 3, I'm sorry, 13 to 3, and uh, a four spy for Fnatic. If they don't win this, they're up against 14. They're probably just four spying till the game ends at that point. Yeah, I'm so excited to see that second map. If and when Ooh, it auto shot through, gun. Let's but, get it. Yeah, okay, this is getting a bit messy. This is a bit of a slaughter on the A side. The scout is getting all the kills, Harry. Not the shotgun, surprisingly. Like, don't Holden. worry. I'm doing what JW did. I'll get this bomb planted. Don't worry, guys. We need the money. We can rely on me. But oh, no, you can't. Chopper rains down from above. And that's the round. 14 on the board for Team Spirit. They were so ready for that vent drop again. They already had Chopper at B. Just waiting. Just, just saying, Fnatic, we dare you to try and sneak another bomb plant past. I'm so excited for Inferno, right? Because I, I just want to know, are we going to get the same spirit here? Like, obviously, this feels a bit underperformance, a bit like an underperformance for Fnatic, but you can't deny that first half is, is so well played from Spirit, and they put Fnatic in a bad place themselves, right? It's not just Fnatic messing things up. It's Spirit, and the credit goes to them. But Inferno, I mean, you know, this isn't firstly a map that Fnatic frequent. It's one that they succeed on, but they don't play a lot. Inferno's Fnatic's most played map. Oh, funnily enough, it's also Spirit's most played map. And they have more maps to play than Fnatic. Obviously against different opposition and lesser opposition. But, you know, worth noting that Spirit in a world where they can 2-0 this series. And I think that is ridiculous. We'll see if it happens. So Fnatic is still in this game right now by the skin of their teeth, by a thread. And right now that thread is getting unstitched one by one. Chopper with two. Spirit up five on three. Fnatic moving outside behind the smokes. But Spirit know this. 
damage done on the cross. Now, Flusher has D down a man outside from the top of main. That was Mir getting dropped. Flusher has a scout shot rain over, and I don't even think he knows where he just got shot from. <laughs> He's like, look at everyone. Our chopper's holding down B in the meantime. And Golden was thinking, like, maybe I can get the bomb planted this time. But no, Chopper is just such a nuisance. He's already there. The auto shotgun rains death down on a flusher. And it's map point for Team Spirit, 15 to 3. Like we all expected. I've, I, I've got, like, this weird feeling, right? I think Team Spirit, I think they could top the group. And I think the team that could give them a run for their money, hilariously, is actually going to be Godset instead of phase i don't know why what are you I, what are you I saying just, <laughs> I, I just made i i just feel like right this team spirit squad i don't know i think when it comes up against like very tactically sound teams they know exactly what they're doing and i think you know when you're up against a team like godsend where things can sometimes get a little bit more loose that's where okay. it gets interesting. Okay. I don't know. I, I just feel yeah, like that's the always like the, the, the games that you see slip through the net. I can't wait to see how the rest of this group pans out now. Obviously, I'm talking like this series is over. Far from it. But this first map certainly could be at the end of this round. Really not much of a Fnatic to work with. Magic's on a preemptive rotation down to B with the auto shotgun. I love that decision as well. He drops down through the vents. He's not bothered if they try and follow him. He can just churn them up with the shotty. Now they get him. Ooh, the side, but no, they bye don't. Bye. I